Hey guys, today I'm going to explain to you structural isomerism. Well, firstly, structural isomers are compounds with the same chemical formula but a different structural formula. So, there are three main types of structural isomers. Um, one one of the types is are chain isomers. Sorry, I should say isomers. I oh, know it doesn't matter. Um, which are um, different, they have different carbon chains. So if you look here, um, here's pentane, C5H12, where this is 2-methylpentane. Um, it has the same chemical formula, C5H12, C5H12, but they're... Um, they're uh, a structural formula is actually different, as you can see. This this is one's branched. It's what's called two methyl pentane. Okay, that's chain isomerism, which is basically the same chemical formula, but different different name, different uh, structural formula. Um, so I'm going to move on to the second type, which is positional isomerism, which is uh, this is where um, the functional group has different positions. So an example of this is uh, where you have a butane, butan one O, is where the OH group is um, on the first carbon, and then the uh, the positional isomer for butan uh, one O would be butan two O. The only difference here is where the OH is placed on the second carbon. So those are positional isomerism. Make sure this is make sure you do not get this mixed up with functional group isomerism, which I'm going to explain now. This is for um, different functional groups. So. Um, if you look at this example here, you can see propanol um, C3H8O, where um, um, the uh, the um, functional group isomer of propanol is methoxyethane C C3H8O. If you notice again, uh, all structural isomers have the same chemical formula so I didn't mention that in here these have the same chemical formula I haven't written it down but they do um, uh, so if you notice if you see um, uh, the uh, oxygen here is located at the end of the chain and here it's uh, uh, um, located um, well, where the uh, um, like in the middle on the where the third carbon would be, this is actually called an ether, which uh, I will explain in later tutorials. Um, these, these, these are all alcohol. This is an alcohol, by the way. Um, this basically is see again that well they have it's basically. Um, Functional group isomerism is where the the O group, the OH group, the O group here, oxygen group, is just located in a different position. So this this could either be this oxygen could either be located here, 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 but it will have the same uh, chemical formula. So this one down here, the oxygen is located in in uh, between these two carbons. It pushes out this carbon. It's called an ether, by the way. Um, so then it uh, um, uh, makes the uh, structural formula uh, different, and it, and then the name goes to uh, methoxyethane. It's methoxy, by the, by the way, it's methoxy. The oxy bit comes from the oxygen being located b before the um, uh, meth methane group. Okay. Basically, a little overrun over, is just that um, structural isomers 
are compounds with the same chemical formula but different structural formula. So you should remember that all the way through. Chain isomers have all have the same chemical formula. Uh, positional isomers all have the same chemical formula. Functional group isomers all have the same formula, but they just have different structural formulas. Okay, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Um, uh, I will probably have more to come in the future once I've gotten used to doing these. Okay, thanks.